What's going on, people? This is Jay Ghost, and today we're going to be talking about Gawker. I know, I'm a little bit late, but the fact of the matter is, in regards to Gawker, we have three people in particular to really talk about. That's going to be Hulk Hogan, that's going to be Peter Thiel, and that's going to be Nick Denton. You see, I don't like what happened with Gawker. I don't like Gawker. I don't pay attention to their news. I don't sit here and partake in any of the clickbait. And I know that they're yellow journalism. But this is a criticism and an indictment of not only the people that basically say, well, we care about um, women in games and all this other stuff. But it's also this whole cultural imperialist crap that has been going on. For the last three years and I'm kind of tired of it. Nick Denton should have been taken down by the gaming community itself for the lies that it printed. They didn't have journalistic integrity. We didn't put the rules in place. We didn't sit here and fight against them as we should have. A lot of people are taking it that this Peter Thiel Hulk Hogan fight is basically all of us gamers um, victory and reward. I don't feel that that was our reward. I feel that it was our victory snatched from and that was our snatched from us and given to Peter Thiel, some billionaire venture capitalist asshole who I'm going to sit here and talk more about. But let's get we're basically talking about Nick Denton. Now Nick Denton doesn't care about your privacy. He doesn't care if you're rich or poor. What he cares about is trying to make as much money as quickly as possible and then hiding it in the Caribbeans and the Cayman Islands and all this other stuff. He's low life scum. And what a lot of people were saying for a while is if you sit here and you don't criticize Gawker, then you are an SJW and all this other stuff. Look, I don't have to be a damn SJW in any way shape or form just to sit here and say I don't like what's happening to Gawker based on these ish issues and parameters over here so if you're here to just sit here and have a closed-minded absolutist mindset the door is to your right the door is to your left don't stay here you're not gonna get that kind of nonsense you're not gonna get keep that kind of nonsense around here I, I, I don't have time for it what I do have to say is this man you know, can be the salt of the earth, but his issue, my issue is, we should have been the ones to take him down. We should have been the ones to change the laws. We should have been the ones to use the precedents. We should have been the one to harry and harass him and to create the alternatives that would have changed Gawker, changed everything about Gawker, and sit here and say, this is now where the gaming community can sit here and rely on instead of what happened. And what happened is Hulk Hogan took our flame. Now, I want you all to understand exactly where I go with Hulk Hogan. He's an asshole. Um, I know not a lot of gamers really follow what happened with him. But in regards to his career in the wrestling business, he was a money-hungry asshole. And I get that from the fact that there is plenty of stuff that will be in the underbar about how he basically screwed over all the wrestlers, all the luchadors, all the people at the bottom of the barrel. And to me, it's a it's an especially really harsh blow because the fact of the matter is, when I looked into WCW, he took advantage of it, he made a lot of money, and he was an old fossil that did nothing. Now, he's not the only one, and I highly doubt he will be the only one because... Hunter Hearst Helmsley, I, I believe, is in that same boat. The same boat where they sit here, they get to the top of wherever they are, and they don't think about the guys below them. And in that regard, Lucha, Lucha Libre and WCW didn't get to where it was. People like Rey Mysterio, who was doing really well as, you know, a small guy, in a big man's world they were the future of wrestling but they couldn't get to where they needed to be at that time you know you had people like Rowdy Roddy Piper and Brett the Hitman Hart but they were few and far between for the new luchadors so you had them go outside to Ring of Honor you had them go to 
um, Lucha Underground, which just recently has been doing very, very well. So, and they had to go to Triple A to get the, you know the boost that they need, so that they could influence WWE in a positive direction. Hulk Hogan basically stagnated at the top. He had really easy matches with something like Kevin Nash, where he lasted for like that match lasted for like seven seconds. And the story, the stories, the booking, he had control of all of that. He had his people, his cronies around him. I don't have a strong or high opinion of Hulk Hogan, if you understand it. And that's both the business aspect as well as the personal aspect. He didn't have his money right. He didn't have, he took the money from all the other people and he was making millions, a multimillionaire, 30 million, 40 million. And I'm glad that he's down to five or seven million. But to me, that what that basically says is he is Peter Thiel's bitch. Now, Peter Thiel is a billionaire. He's at the top of his game. He talks about Bilderberg, but his belief is in corporate monopolies. The corporate monopolies that he believes in, well, I mean, this is one of those things where corporate monopolies basically screw over the rest of the world. And what he's basically doing, he's kind of a libertarian. Um, to really get into that quickly, him as a libertarian basically speaks volumes of how he believes, and that is an ideological belief in, well, free speech, quote-unquote. But he, this is a guy that really has a lot of contradictions. You're mad because someone outed you as gay. And since someone outed you as gay, you want to go after the media organization. And so this isn't a collective gaming response. This became a person's personal vendetta. And people are sitting here on Twitter saying, thank you, Peter, as if he did something special. He had the money to sit here and use Hulk Hogan to sit here and put him in the place that he need to be. To have judicial precedents that basically say Gawker has no First Amendment rights and all this other stuff as a media organization. I mean, if you look at clickbait, plenty of places do the same damn thing as Gawker. And just because they're gone doesn't mean that yellow journalism is gone. But people sat here, and let me put it as an analogy. This is someone burning the ground and salting the ashes so nothing else can grow. Instead of sitting here, getting away from this toxic source of, you know, ground, groundwork, and trying to basically build, like, better crops outside of the, of the Gawker, Gawker media monopoly, which is going on. And so what has happened with this is the fact that now that Gawker is going to be gone and all the assets are going to be sold, it's going to be that Gawker, for all intents and purposes, is going to have all of his parts sold to possibly Ziff Davis. This means that you're going to have a monopoly of all of this yellow journalism, slot bait, clickbait with Ziff Davis that already has a track record of not do doing these types of things. So what do you think that's going to do? That means that we're going to be fighting the same thing that we started with. And we're not going to have a Peter Thiel to sit here and protect us. We didn't solve the problem. We just changed where it went to. And nobody's sitting here looking at this stuff. Nobody looks at these things and asks these questions. So when Ziff Davis sits here and basically transforms into the new Gawker, I guess we're going to fight that one. And I'm kind of tired of fighting these things, fighting these types of battles. Instead, we should have been building a better gaming community, a better that would resist this type of thing, use them as a personal goal of not being, and then sit here and make something else. Instead, Peter Thiel fucked it all up, and he used Hulk Hogan to do it. I don't have a high opinion of Peter Thiel. I don't have a high opinion of Gawker. I don't have a high opinion of Nick Denton, and I don't have a high opinion of anybody related to this case. So if you've got that kind of analysis, screw you. 
and I'll see you all next time.